So hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Smackdown Reviews. We're going to be doing this episode of Smackdown, obviously. Um, I need a, I need a, I need I need a good introduction because my introductions are so are so lame. But anyway, um, today's Smackdown. I can't tell you guys if I liked it. Or I can't tell, or if I tell you if I didn't like it. I'm kind of mixed, to be fair, because obviously, since the only thing I care about is women's wrestling, it's hard for me to tell you if I liked SmackDown this week. But the show started off with Jeff Hardy, because yay, who likes to? Who wants to hear about Jeff Hardy and Sheamus? Like, don't get me wrong, I like Sheamus. Like, don't get me wrong, I really like Sheamus. Like, Sheamus to me, he's kind of like in the same position as Randy Orton. Like, I like him, but he's in feuds I don't care about. So, Sheamus... And Jeff Hardy, uh, I guess they're going to put an end to their feud at Extreme Rules in a bar fight. But Miz and Morrison, just like what they did to Mandy Rose, they only had Jeff Hardy on Miz TV just to poke fun at him. I guess it's not called Miz TV anymore. I guess it should be called, let's just poke fun at somebody. I guess that's what Miz TV should be renamed to. We're just going to poke fun at someone because we think it's funny. Please, Miz and Morrison, stick to your music videos. That's more entertaining than you being entertaining in the ring. Jeff Hardy would attack the Miz and would lead to a match. And we had, then Jeff Hardy would end up beating the Miz via roll-up because Jeff, the Sheamus appeared on television. And uh, tried to distract Jeff Hardy, which didn't go anywhere. Then we had the greatest tag team of all time, Sasha Banks and Bailey, take on Alexa Alexa Blass and Nikki Cross. And to be fair, to be honest, I did think I did think at time at the at, at the time. That Alexa and Nikki were going to win because of how dominant Sasha and Bailey were in this match. But Sasha and Bailey did end up winning. Bailey got a roll up on Nikki Cross, and I don't think she had her foot on the rope because I've been hearing a lot of people saying that Bailey had her foot on the rope. It looked like she did, but I think she might have just missed it. It's hard to tell, but I think she did. It. Because, but even if she did have her foot on the rope, it's a it's a heel tactic. So even if she did have her foot on the rope, it's a heel tactic anyway. So what do you what so what do you expect from a heel? Speaking of heel tactics, Nikki Cross attacked Bailey before their match. She's a babyface, and he and here's Nikki Cross just attacking people from behind like a heel. What a baby face! What a baby face! Doing the heel heelish of heelish things, attacking people from behind. A true baby face right there, ladies and gentlemen. A true baby face. You know I don't you know, I really hope that's the end of Alexa and Nikki. I'm I'm done with them. I'm tired of them being in the tag team division. After this loss I hope that's the end. I don't want to see. I don't want to hear. Interrupt another Alexa. Like I don't want to hear Alexa Bliss's annoying music. Interrupt another Sasha and Bailey segment. I don't want to hear hear it anymore. Maybe only one more time because of Nikki Cross competing against Bailey next week. We're because 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 Nikki Cross is competing against Bailey 
just keep Alexa Bliss out of it. Just just have Nikki Cross. Just have Nikki Cross like beat the crap out of Bailey and Sasha on the final episode of SmackDown before Extreme Rules. But what I would do is that at Extreme Rules, I'd have Nikki Cross lose. And even if you want to have Alexa Bliss there, have Alexa Bliss there to back up her friend. What I'd do is that, I, is that I'd have Alexa Bliss lose. Nikki Cross lose. I'm all over the place. I'd have Nikki Cross lose at Extreme Rules. You have Alexa in the ring. She's con she's checking on her friend to see if she's okay. And this is where I'd pull the trigger. This is where I'd pull the trigger on Nikki Cross's heel turn. And I'd just have her just completely lose it. I'd just have her completely lose it. And she beats the crap out of Alexa. Out of pure anger and frustration, Nikki Cross attacks Alexa Bliss because what's the point in turning Alexa heel? What's the point in turning Alexa heel when you could just easily turn Nikki Cross heel out of anger and frustration that she that she can't that she just can't beat Bailey. So yeah. That's what I do to be honest. Then we had a, and we had, um, what else did we have on the show? Well, we didn't really have a lot happen. Um, AJ Styles was interviewed about, uh, about his IC title match with Matt Riddle next week. Please don't have Matt Riddle win. Please no. Matt R can Matt Riddle, like, not win this match at all? And, and how about this? Can we have, like, Baron Corbin ruin this match? I don't want Matt Riddle as Intercontinental Champion. Matt Riddle doesn't deserve to be the Intercontinental Champion. I would rather Baron Corbin interrupt the match and ruin it than give the, give the man with his annoying feet. Like, seriously. Vince McMahon is giving Matt Riddle a push all because of his segment... When he talked about his feet. Disgusting. Disgusting reason to push a... It's a disgusting reason to push somebody. It's a disgusting reason to push somebody. Oh, I liked his feet when he talked about his... I liked the segment where he talked about his feet. Yeah, let's push him. Yeah, let's push him. Have him talk about his feet every week. Yeah, Matt Feeney Riddle. The King of Feet! The Feedinator is here! Yeah, let's have the Feedinator! Let's call him the Feedinator, because he loves his feet! I don't care about his feet. Baron Corbin, I don't like Baron Corbin at all. But I, but I, but I hope, but I hope Baron Corbin ruins Matt Riddle's chances to become the Intercontinental Champion. And they re-showed Bray Wyatt versus Braun Strowman. Why? So you're replaying a match to us that we saw two months ago. I don't get it at all. Why show us a match that we didn't care about two months ago? Like, I don't even care for Braun Strowman as the Universal Champion. This guy shouldn't even be Universal Champion. The only reason why he is, is because Roman's gone. So that's the only reason why Braun's Champion. It's supposed to be Roman. Roman decided to take a sabbatical. And Vince was in a corner. He's like, oh great. Who do I make as my Universal Champion now? We don't want Goldberg as Universal Champion. How about this? How about this? You should have never made Goldberg the Universal Champion. You should have never made him the Universal Champion in the first place. The Fiend should have still been the Universal Champion. You wouldn't have had this problem if you decided to give Goldberg the win. At Super Saudi Showdown. 
God, you wouldn't be in this situation if you still had the Universal title on Bray. Good grief. Braun shouldn't even be Universal Champion. Right? I can't take Braun seriously. I can't take Braun seriously anymore. If Braun Strowman won the Universal Championship when he was red hot in 2017 or 2018, whichever year it was. I think it was 2017. If you had Braun Strowman win the Universal Championship when he was red hot after his feud with Roman Reigns, then yes, I would have taken Braun seriously because he was red hot. We were all ready for him at that time. He was ready. He was red hot. He was gonna. He, he was red hot at the time, and he, and he had his feud with Roman Reigns. We all wanted to see him win, become the Universal Champion at that point. Even in 2018, I think we were all ready for him to be Universal Champion. But because WWE never pulled the trigger on him, how am I supposed to care? You 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 basically had no choice. They basically had no choice to make him Universal Champion because they gave the freaking belt to Goldberg. Stupid. I just don't care about this anymore. I really don't care about this feud. I would just rather the Universal Championship off of Braun Strowman. Give it to someone that I can actually invest my time in. Unless you're telling me... Bray Wyatt wins the title at SummerSlam. God, I hope so. But I'm tired of this. Then we had a karaoke. When I first saw this appear on my screen, I'm like, oh my god, this could either be really good or really bad. And my first thought that came into my head was thinking, okay, this could be where they pull the trigger on Naomi's heel turn. This could be where they pull the trigger. But, we got something even better. I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe I said that. We had Lacey Evans turn heel. Lacey Evans. The, the forgot, the, the sassy, sexy, southern bum turned heel tonight because she was all jelly welly and upset that Naomi upstaged her in singing a song. Oh, poor, poor Lacey Evans. Oh, poor Lacey. Oh no! She beat me in a music! She beat me in a song! I gotta beat her up! I gotta give her the woman's right now! I gotta punch her in the face! I gotta give her the woman's right! I gotta put Naomi's name on my wrist like I did with Sasha Banks! I gotta plant a photo of Naomi on a punching bag somewhere so I can punch her in the face over and over again like what I did with Sasha Banks so now I can get my revenge! Curse you, Naomi! Curse you! Seriously. Sore loser! All over a music! All over music! I'm gonna turn heel over music! Lacey Evans is a bum. She always will be a bum. But I will be honest, I would... But, I, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I am happy they've got got Lacey as a heel. I would perfectly rather Lacey as a heel over Naomi. I know we've been wanting. To, I know for the last several months we've been we've been pitching heel Naomi, heel Naomi. We've been wanting heel Naomi. I know we. I know a lot of people have been thinking about that for the last several months. But I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I would rather Naomi not be a heel. I would rather her remain as a babyface. Because she's such a natural babyface. People love Naomi. Naomi would be in that position where, well, if we had actual people in the audience, if you turned her heel, she'd be one of those heels that get cheered. She'd be a lot like Becky. Naomi would be a lot like Becky. A heel that wouldn't be booed. People wouldn't boo Naomi 
because Naomi, and because no one gives a shit about Lacey Evans. If you had Naomi turn heel on Lacey Evans, fans would cheer Naomi if we had an actual audience. No one cares about Lacey Evans. No one likes Lacey Evans. So at least I can give Vince McMahon credit for actually thinking with his let, with thinking with his head. Or Bruce Pritchard, either one. E e either if it's Bruce Pritchard or Vince McMahon, either way, I give them credit for actually using their goddamn heads and realizing that none of us like Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans is better off as a heel. Dana Brooke, I don't know what side she's on. She was telling... She uh, got a bit upset with Lacey Evans. Tamina was getting a bit upset with Lacey Evans, trying to break up the fight. L Lacey was just getting all bitter at everybody. Because we did eventually have a match between Naomi and Lacey Evans. She was pushing and shoving everybody. The sassy southern sore loser. And then we had a brawl between all the women in the ring. Next week, I guarantee, next week, tag team match. It'll be Naomi and Tamina versus Dana Brooke and Lacey Evans. Watch. Next week. So after all that nonsense, so after all that nonsense went down all over music, we had Shinsuke Nakamura versus The New Day for the SmackDown Tag Team titles, this ended in a no contest. Now, I would... Now... Listen. If you're going to set up a table match between them, why did you need to set up a title match tonight, then? You could have easily had New Day versus Cesaro Nakamura again, and the winning team picks a stipulation. And you have Nakamura and Cesaro with it. And they pick a table match, clearly. Because they like tables, apparently. Now, I really hope they do go with Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro as the tag team champions. I'm kind of tired of the New Day, to be perfectly honest, as tag team champions. They're like Charlotte. They're like Alexa Bliss. Always champions. Always in the title picture. Boring. It, get, it, get, it gets boring. You just want to see someone new. I think it's time for WWE to go with somebody new. This was apparently supposed to be the Forgotten Sons, but to be perfectly honest, I would rather Cesaro and Nakamura over the Forgotten Bums any day of the week. Cesaro and Nakamura are better wrestlers than the Forgotten Bums. They have better characters than the, bot the Forgotten Bums. And I actually care about Cesaro and Nakamura more than the Forgotten Bums. So I do hope we get Cesaro and Nakamura as the tag team champions. As long as they win the tag team titles at the end of all this, then, then I guess it's all worth it. But until then, I don't know. But anyway, that is all I've got for you guys on this today's episode. On, to the, on, to the, uh, on this episode of the reviews, not a really strong episode to be honest. Can't really say much too much about it, but we'll see. But next week on Monday Night Raw, we got a big one. We got a we got grudge matches. We got all, we got, we've got the Kabuki's taking on Sasha and Bailey, who I'm thinking that will be the main event. Jeez, imagine if the Kabuki Warriors win that. I mean, if the I mean, let's be honest. If the Kabuki Warriors did win next week on Raw, then all those rumors about Kyrie Sane leaving are false. But I, but I might but I might discuss more about that later because I think on Raw it would make more sense for me to talk about it. But I, but but the only but the only thing I can tell you guys about the women's tag team title match. Whoever wins that is losing at Extreme Rules. That is really all I can say. If the Kabuki Warriors win, then Asuka isn't winning at Extreme Rules. But if Sasha and Bailey win, then Asuka and uh, Sasha 
isn't winning at Extreme Rules. That's all I can tell you, that this tag team title match is going to determine who loses at Extreme Rules. And it's going to be very, very exciting. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for joining me for this review. Hit that thumbs up. Comment your, your opinions down below. And I'll see you all next time.